Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, daily Forex uh, video research. Today we'll continue to talk about the euro currency. Well, yesterday we have talked about this possible move to the upside in taking out these highs. So that has happened. I said that market will be struggle in the area between 135.40 uh, and 135.80 because first of all yesterday's level of overbought was 135 approximately 3540 and the 3580 area of weekly and monthly period resistance one so as you can see market yesterday has cleared out the previous highs these highs okay but then had to pull back due to level of overbought also market has accomplished the intraday 618 expansion target on the four hour chart but this is not big deal with this fact. Now what we have today. First of all we can see that a current level of overbought coincides for current day for the Thursday coincides with the area of weekly and monthly period resistance one. It's around 135.81 and the level of overbought blue mark right here 135.75. So this will be the crucial area for the today's price action. So if somehow you will hold the bullish positions, be careful if market will show uh, some move in this area because after this, when it, if and when it will reach it, market can show some bouncing to the downside. Okay, but uh, intraday uh, now intraday price action makes me think that market possibly today will show some retracement to the downside. And here is why. Let's take a look at the four-hour chart. First of all, on the 4 hour chart, we can see that market hit 618 target from this A, B, C point that we have discussed yesterday, right here. Market has hit it. Why I take this point? Because, uh, and not this point, for example. Well, this move from this A, B, C is also appropriate uh, approach to this possible con calculation of the FIB expansion. But I take this point as A because the real move, the real distrust to the upside has started from this point. So this is also valid A, B, C pattern. Okay. Now you can see market has hit 618 right here and show some retracement to the downside. Also we can see the nice bearish divergence right here with the MACD indicator. It's very clear. Also take a look. Market has reached 127 expansion from this swing to the downside from this high to this low from this retracement 127 what possible scenarios could be on the market first of all look at this 1618 expansion is precisely the area of monthly and weekly uh, period resistances and daily overbought if market will show retracement to this level this confidence support 133.84 then expansion from this high to this low will give us 127 which is also right here so this will be the 4 hour 3 drive sale first drive second drive retracement to 133.50 area and third drive this could happen if market will break this area to the downside then possibly and reach the next area of FIB support FIB confidence support right here 132.56 132.80 and by the way, weekly pivot support, uh, weekly pivot point. <coughs> Sorry, uh, this will give us the head and shoulders pattern. So, but uh, this is a bit longer perspective. May, maybe market, if if uh, even it will break this area to the downside, maybe it will not reach today this area. Okay. So I think that this area for the current trading session is more important, and the scenario on the hourly chart. Uh, tells us that possibly it very probable that market can reach 133.50 area today. Why? On the hourly chart we see a bit uh, complicated picture. So this our expansion that we have discussed 127 market has hit it. 
Now take a look at this pattern. First of all, what we can see here. This is the MACD predictive failure pattern. So market has trying push, trying to the bullish again, but failed and close below it. So very often when market shows this pattern, uh, it, it leads to the taking out the previous extremes in the opposite direction. So this is the previous extremes, this is the previous loss. So market can take out the previous loss. If it will happen, then the stops that has been placed just below this loss will trigger the acceleration or move to the downside and market easily can reach 133.7 tip target from this A, B, C top pattern. Okay? 100% expansion, 133.70. And what this is the level 133.70? Let's take a look again on the 4-hour chart. 133.60. This area of 4-hour confidence support that can give us, if market will find support here and returns to the upside move, it can give us the starting of the final part of 3-drive sale pattern. Okay? One, one, one six one eight expansion is built, it's even lower, so I think that it's not very uh, important for the today trading session. Now, that's been said. First of all, if you hold bullish position, uh, be careful in the area one thirty five seventy one thirty five eighty because this daily overbought for today and weekly and monthly peer resistance one. But currently, I think that market shows some bearish signs on the hourly chart that has the nice probability of taking out the 132, 134, 22 area, this previous lows, and achievement of 133.70 area. So I think that this is the possible target for today trading session, because this is, will be an agreement with the 4-hour confidence support. And I think that this will be the scalp trade. And I think if you will take it due to this MCD predictive failure pattern, well, I think that this nice move is more than 100 pips. And this could lead in turn for the tomorrow, maybe a market, we will consider the f f start forming of the 3 drive sale pattern on the 4 hour chart of your.